Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and you're just getting me today because Neon is elsewhere. So Sundays are coming, day, you know, days with just me, days with Geeky. So today we're going to talk about the box office and how the box office and is thankfully getting a boost, which is beneficial to a lot of the theaters and things that were shutting down. So the box office is once again winning with audiences. We had, you know, Inside Out 2 do well. We have Despicable Me 4 doing well. Twisters just came out and it's going to hit 123 million globally. Um, they're saying Despicable Me just passed 500 million. While theaters are coming back and we're starting to get a boost, we're starting to see a pattern here. People want to go see movies that are just good movies. Things that they, they know are going to be good. Things they know aren't going to be like ham-fisted, agenda-driven crap. They want entertainment. With the world being the way it is, you want to escape. You don't want to go into a theater and just be, you know, given more of the same. Which is why I don't know how well, you know, Captain America is going to do next year. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, I'll give you a woohoo. Woohoo! And we're going to talk about this. So Twisters did really well this weekend. Um, it went higher than they expected. They said that it's going to be about, it was about 27.1 million from 76 foreign territories over the weekend and 42 million overseas in total. Um, they think that it's going to do about 80.5 million, which is above expectations here. So the movie is going to have grossed 123.2 million to date after opening weekend. And it was just, you know, the regular opening weekend, not like, you know, oh, it's a seven day opening weekend. Because it was just a good movie that people thought it was fun. You know, whether the science adds up or not, I can't tell you. I'm not a scientist. I don't know. But it was just a, a, a good movie that like made you forget about stuff for a while. And you just went to the theater and had fun. It was good. I don't think it's as good as the first one, which I said. But it's still pretty good. So much so that Pinky Boo said to me yesterday, I wish I'd go see it again. I mean, my, we don't usually go see the movies more than once. Uh, we did for Haunted Mansion, we liked it. But she's like, I'm ready to go see this movie again because she liked it so much the first time. And audiences seem to agree. It's doing really well. Um, critics are, I think it's like, what, 70-some percent on Rotten Tomatoes with critics because they are all mad about climate change. But audiences are giving it like a 90-some percent, okay? It's doing well. People are responding to it. People are going to the theater to see it. They said it's one of the biggest openings for a disaster movie. Um, now they said in other territories, uh, USA and Canada were the biggest markets. Yeah. Cause you have to be a place that has tornadoes a lot, probably to be wanting to see it. Uh, United Kingdom had 5.5 .5 million, Mexico, 2.5 million, Australia, 2 million, France, 1.9 million. And it didn't do well in China. It only got 1.5 million in its debut, but you know, it's China. So it's always hit or miss over there, but they usually, usually like, you know, action packed movies, but this one wasn't one of their, it wasn't their cup of tea. But it, overall, it's doing really, really well in America. And, I'm also, and if you did 80.5 million in America and 42 million overseas, which is about half as much, it's still pretty good. Now, of course, this is the first weekend. Next weekend, I don't expect it to do a whole lot because we're going to get Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be another win for the box office because everybody's excited about this movie. Um, Disney went ahead and did the R rating. We're seeing, you know, fun tie-ins like the popcorn bucket with Wolverine. Looks like he has blowers cramp. And we have, like, the, the fun little contest with Xbox with, you know, uh, Deadpool's butt on the controller. And they're just, like, they're just embracing the, the audience for this and going all in on the adult audience, which I think is a, is a smart move. So they're saying it's going to set for a record-breaking box office with 160 to $165 million opening is what they're expecting as the estimates. Um, this would give the film the best opening of 2024, but the bigger launch, biggest launch ever for an R-rated title. It, and it might do not as well. It might even do better then. People are genuinely excited for this film. So we have all these wins, and what's the common thread? The common thread are there are movies people want to see with characters that are recognizable and characters that act like themselves. And you're getting what you expect. It does, what's what did Neon say? It, it does what it says on the tin. You know, Twisters gave you what you expected. Deadpool Wolverine will probably give you what ex you expect. Inside Out 2 gave you what you expected. Despicable Me 4 gave you what you expected. And it's winning because people want to see characters they know. They want to have fun. And you're giving them fun. And when you give people fun, they give you their damn money. It really isn't that hard, Hollywood. I don't understand why you lost the plot. Um, you're too busy chasing, you know, 
money for DEI and for all this, you know, stupidity, let these people, you know, have a voice. I'm not saying you should have a voice, but you know what I'm saying? They're letting them like dictate everything. And it's non-surprising to anyone, when you make these movies that are not entertaining and they're just narrative and agenda, people don't want to see it. They just don't. And when Disney puts out, like, you know, Wish, and it just was a bunch of regurgitated Disney crap that, that people just found, you know, boring, and the animation looked crap, they didn't want to see it. When they did the Marvels, and actually the Marvels I'm hearing was better than Captain Marvel, it still had a male-dominated audience, but people were so afraid of agenda and bullshit, they didn't go to see it. But they're going back to the movies now. People still have, are struggling with money, but they're finding it to go to the movies when you're giving them something they want. All right? It's really not that complicated. Um, another interesting element of the box office returning is that we're animation... Is, is coming back. Like animation's picking up steam again. We were concerned for a while because there's been a lot of layoffs across the board animation. I think it just means they're shipping it elsewhere because they don't want to do it in California. And I think a lot of it's because of the unions and because sometimes, not always, sometimes um, people just think that they should be given a lot of things they shouldn't be given or that they're owed something. That's not always the case. I'm not saying everyone. I'm just saying that there's a, there's a certain level of entitlement in California that maybe they might not find other places, okay? But then you run the risk of stuff getting sent to North Korea, which is a whole other story. So the mainstream media is now picking up on the fact that animation is coming back and it's doing really well. Because if you give people stuff they know and they want, they'll go see the movie. It's not hard. So they're saying that, you know, Inside Out 2 did really well. And we have Despicable Me 4 doing really well. And they said in 2024, story for animation is still being written. Currently, five of the top 12 grossing films globally this year were animated. And we're also going to get The Wild Robot, which I don't know how well it's going to do in the theaters, but it looks really good. Like, if you haven't seen the trailer for The Wild Robot, go watch it because it looks really good. I don't know how good it's going to be. I don't know how well it's going to perform because it's not like, it's not like characters people know. And I don't know if it's going to do as well because it's not like, you know, Inside Out 2 where you have all these, these fun, cute little characters. This is more of like, a, it seems more serious. So I don't know how well, but I, it's more like a, a Wally type thing. And it just, it just looks beautiful. It's beautifully animated. And that's DreamWorks. Um, Moana 2 is probably going to do incredibly well. People were very excited about Moana 2. The first Moana was one of their most streamed films. The only concern I had was the fact that it was originally meant to be a TV show. And I'm worried about if you're consolidating that into a movie, how that's going to that's gonna translate. But what I've seen of it doesn't look terrible. So I think that one will do really well just because it's Moana. Mufasa, Lion King, I do not think it's going to do great. I think it'll do okay. Whether or not it makes its money back, I can't tell you. But people were not sold on that one. They like retcon stuff in the trailer. And it just, I think people are over it. Like, they're like, I already saw this movie. So we'll see how that goes. We'll have to see how that, you know, how, how the interest on that builds leading towards it. But I do think Moana 2 is going to do pretty well. Transformers 1, I'm, I'm really not thinking it's going to be a huge one, but, well, you know, I could be wrong. I just don't think that one's going to be a big demand one, but you never know. People like Transformers. Um, they said there's also specialty titles that could end up surprising, including Warner Brothers, Anime, Lord of the Rings, The War of Rohirrim, and Piece by Piece by Universal. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that animation is popular still. I think you just have to give people things they want. Like, I hate to say it. I mean, I want to see new things because Disney used to make new things and everything that has sequels started out with something new. And I think we need to go back to having really good ideas for new things. I'm not sure Ilios is going to do great. But I think if you have a really good idea and it's fun and it's engaging and it's relatable and something kids will like and adults will like, you can, you can you know, have something new. However... I think given the situation with Hollywood and the box office and trying to win audiences back because of bad decisions, uh, doing sequels is, is not a bad way to go right now. I mean, I like to see new, more original things, but sequels I understand because you have to win people back. 
you've lost the plot, you've lost the audience, you need to win them back, so you give them a Toy Story 5, you give them uh, Inside Out 2, a Despicable Me 4, so that they're, and you make the characters themselves. Like everybody was worried Inside Out 2 was gonna suck because they were gonna make changes, and they didn't. You give people a good, heartwarming, relatable story with characters they know and love, and they feel safe taking their families to, and you're gonna get money. It's, it's really just, it's like if you go to a burger restaurant and they give you a good burger, people are gonna pay for it and come back. It's really not hard. It's like if you go to a burger restaurant and you get shitty tacos, they're not gonna come back anymore. Take that as you will. And it's just common sense. It's just like, it makes my head hurt when I think about how stupid these people are. It's like, it's not hard. Either, at this point, it's so blatantly dumb. I have to sit here and think, are they doing it on purpose? Like, are they trying to find write downs and write offs and they're trying, and they're somehow benefiting from being stupid? Because it doesn't make sense. Like if you, you step on the rake, you know, then you know, oh, don't step on the rake. But they just keep stepping on it again and again and again. And eventually you're like, you gotta be doing this on purpose at this point. Because there's no way you'd still step on that thing. Yet you are. It doesn't make any sense. So good news, good movies are winning out. Uh, Twister did well this week. I don't know how it's gonna do next week because we're gonna have Deadpool and Wolverine and I think that's just gonna suck up all the oxygen in the room. Um, it's gonna light everything on fire and every time you get a new trailer, it looks funnier and funnier. But again, that's rated R and that's gonna have a au limited audience on that one where you know you, you can get more people to go to Twisters because it's not. But I think this is gonna be the big week for Twisters. Again, if you haven't seen it, it's actually pretty good, so you should go see it. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Please let us know what you think, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.